Hi there, I'm Seb, or you may know me as Lazy Neef. I'm the creator of the Royalty mod, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play it. In this video, we are going to be breaking down, starting the mod. Today we're going to add the trait and create a sim. We're going to look at adding traits to other sims, adding the career, adding titles, going over inherited traits, and going over the cheats. Okay, so first things first, you want to come into create a sim, with the sim who you want to be your monarch, your very first monarch, and you'll come here to the traits, and under this first section here, you'll find the monarch trait. Just give that to your sim, and that is all you need to do in CAS. You don't need to give any of the sims any other traits. From here, just click the yes button and go back into game. Okay, so when it comes to adding traits to other sims, you'll want to have your monarch selected as your active sim. And then click on the sim that you want to assign a trait to. Go to more choices and come down here to titles. As you can see, there are quite a lot of titles. Ignore this extra scientist dungeon guard. I need to patch that out today. <laughs> um, anyway, you can come to this menu and you can designate as an advisor, which we'll also do in a minute to our other sim. You can be a court wizard. Um, this is also how you give noble titles, but today we are going to recognize our princess here as a crown royal. Uh, now, crown royal is the title I've used as a generic um, gender neutral title for princes and princesses. Um, we can change this title, and I will uh, show you how to do that in a bit. So just click this. Okay, and it has a custom animation where she kisses her hand. There you go, we come down here to the sim info panel, and there you go. Alexandra, Alexandria is now a crown royal. We are also going to do the same with Patrick here, but instead we are going to make him our designated advisor. If we go into his sim info panel, there we go, he is now our trusted advisor. I'll go in at a later date and explain what a trusted advisor does and how they can help your monarch and your heir. And finally, we will add the royal partner trait to our queen's husband here. All we need to do is go back into titles and because they have a romantic relationship together, as you can see in, down here, um, we have the option to give him the title of royal partner. This will only show up on sims that your monarch has a royal, um, they have a romantic relationship with. And this is just a title for the husband or wife or partner of the monarch. Okay, now for the career. With your monarch selected, you'll want to come down here to the career panel, or you can do this through the phone, and just click join a career. And your sim must have the monarch trait, or they must have the inherited monarch trait, which your sim gets after they inherit the crown, after being an heir. So we we'll want to just scroll down here and come to Monarch of the Land. And this is just a small job. It gives your monarch something to do during the day, um, as well as the recent daily duties as well. Uh, this is a rabbit hole job. If you don't see this here, then it's likely your sim doesn't have the monarch trait or they don't have the inherited monarch trait. This will only show up if your sims have either one of those traits. So just click yes. And there you go. She now has the job. Okay, so in order to change the aesthetic titles, so for example, you want the red words above her name that say monarch, what you will need to do is come up here to build mode. And my suggestion always to find this, or to find anything related to my mods super easily, is to type in brackets LN, oh, not LM, LN, <laughs> and just come up here and click text search for brackets LN. That should bring up absolutely everything in your game that is related to me as a creator. So you just want to come here to LN, Book of Bestowing Titles. And this is how your sim will change their aesthetic title. Okay, so this works with any sim selected. They actually don't even need any of the royalty mod traits on them. This will just work anyway. Just click on the book, 
change titles and I have a video on custom titles so if you don't like any of the titles included or you feel you need other ones to suit your gameplay better then you can come in here and as you can see there are a bunch of custom titles and I'll link the video that I have um, explaining how to change these outside of the game and you can make a bunch of custom ones that suit you and your gameplay needs. Anyway, we're just going to come down here to Monarch Titles, because she's a monarch, and we'll just choose Empress. She'll just go to the book and grab it. I really need to change the interaction for that, that's very boring, but um, anyway, here you go. There you go, she is now the Empress. And if you want to get rid of any of the titles, just go back into um, whichever one you chose. Um, so I chose Monarch Titles, so I'm going back into the Monarch Titles and just click Remove All. And she'll perform the same interaction. And there you go, it's gone. Um, I would really suggest doing this before changing your title. Um, it's just much cleaner that way, and you're less likely to run into issues. Say, if at first you had the Empress title, then you changed it to Kaiser or something, um, and then randomly one day it changes back to Empress. Um, that would be because you still technically have both on your sim at the same time. So just before you add a new title, remove all. There are lots of titles to choose from. Um, obviously we have all of the Monarch titles included. And we have ones for Crown Royals as well. So obviously this is how you change Crown Royal to Prince or Princess. Or, you know, Sarovich, Princess Dowager and whatever. And we also have Noble titles as well. These are purely aesthetic changes, they make absolutely no difference to gameplay. So your royalty mod sims will inherit traits from their parents depending on the traits that their parents have. So as you can see, our queen here is now pregnant, and the baby that she'll have will inherit traits from her because she is a monarch, having a baby with her royal partner. I will go over the various pairings and what traits they lead to for the baby. So our queen is now in labour. We'll let her have the baby, and we will see what trait it gets. Okay, awesome. She's just had the baby. Because we can't age them up right away anymore, I will cheat and show you that they do indeed have the trait. So this is just a mod that I have that allows me to see all the details and traits of a sim. So if I come down here to traits, you can see that this baby Eric here is a crown royal, and that was automatically given to him because his mother is a monarch and his father is a crown royal. He also has another trait here called House of Gale, which is their last name. Because he is the firstborn into this new generation, he'll begin this new lineage, so he will get the first trait, which is House of Gale, and then his child will get the second trait, which will be um, a stronger lineage trait, and then so on and so forth. In the tutorial document that I will still link below, um, I do list all of the various pairings and their outcomes baby-wise, so if you want to figure out what your sims will be having together, you can just go and check that. I did record myself reading them all out, but I think everyone would click off the video if I did that. <laughs> and finally for this video, I will just go over the cheats. So with the royalty mod in your game, you will be able to access this cheat menu even if your sim doesn't have, say, the monarch trait or the crown royal, royal partner, whatever kind of trait. Um, your sim will be able to access it regardless. So all you do is click on your active sim, come up here to royalty mod, and go to royalty mod cheats. And in here you have a few options. This option here removes all of the traits that are related to royalty mod. These two up here, they change either the regional noble traits or the regional royal traits. So I'll just come down here and explain that quite quickly. Um, as you can see, my royals live in Henford on Bagley, so they were all automatically given this Henford on Bagley royal trait. If you wanted to change those, then you would just change those through the cheats up here. But the main cheats menu is here. So, there's quite a few things in here. Um, in the Greek add-on, um, I did include war and treasury. So, this is um, cheats to add coins to the treasury or add soldiers to your platoon. Um, for peasants, you can turn worn, worn out shoes on and off. Um, I will be making a video going over peasants though, so if you don't understand what this means right now, that's all good. 
um, you can turn the reaction to royalty on or off here. And you can turn auto classes on or off. And again, I will cover that in a different video. But most importantly, uh, these are all of the traits that you can add or remove. That's it for today's video. In the next video, I will be going over heirs, succession, and regents. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy playing.